hi welcome to my youtube channel my name is naki today's video i'm going to show you how you can bypass a windows password or how you can get into someone's machine without the person knowing please this is for educational purpose only don't go and do this on someone's machine unless you have permission to do so try this on your main environment and know how it is done okay so this our uh, machine or the demo machine here is windows 7 you can do this on windows 10 or windows 8 any of the windows os we can perform this on them the software that we are going to use is called passkeep so let's try entering some passwords it's wrong it's wrong we don't know the password for this machine okay so to do that first have to shut down the machine we also have to get a bootable pen drive or a CD with the Passcape software on top. You have to create a Passcape bootable pen drive to perform the action. Or next, so for me, I'm going to use a CD or an ISO file because I'm using a virtual machine. So I can just insert my ISO file into the virtual machine's CD slot. Okay, so I will browse for where the software is. So this is my software. Passkeep. Passkeep reset Windows password. So I will select it. Then open. Yeah, it's now in. Uh, okay, then I will boot from the CD. If you don't know how to create a bootable next, I have a video link in the description. Can you go and watch it and know how you can create a bootable next using either a software or the PowerShell? Or command prompt okay so I'll just boot from my CD you have to first know your hotkey for entering the boot menu for this virtual machine I'm going to use escape to enter the boot menu so I'll power on then press escape all right so we are now in the boot menu options so we boot from our CD we we'll select the CD when you are using pen drive or USB disk, you select the USB disk from here. I'll select my CD ROM, hit enter. Wait for the passkeep setup or the front view window to appear. So let's wait for a while. All right, so this is the first step in bypassing the Windows password or resetting the Windows password. This can also be used when you forget your password too. So this is for educational purpose only. Don't use it for bad intention. Or don't try to get into someone's machine using this step without permission. Select the language that you want. For me, I will select English. Then we select SAM. The SAM directory is where Windows store it, user account and password. So we select SAM. Then what do you want to perform here? Do you want to add a new user account, edit user account properties, whatever we want to do? You want to reset or change the user password. So hit next. Next. Then we select the user that we want to change it password. So this target one. Next. Okay, so this is the resetting window or interface. So here we set up a new password that I want to give to the user or we want to use to access the user's account. So just type any password. Let's say I want to use um, United. United Arab 21. United Arab 21. So I'll just hit on reset okay so before we do the reset we can choose to create a rollback file or we can just forget about this if it is our main machine we can just go to know we are doing this for our own good we are forget our password so we don't need any rollback file but if we are doing this for educational purpose or you are testing this out have to create a rollback file so that after this you roll back to the normal state or the normal password that was on so that 
no one will be the no one will detect that someone has get into my pc so yes we want to create a rollback file so yes where do we want to place this rollback file remember it's dot puc so you have to remember that so where should i place this let's say i want to place it inside my let's say users public okay let me save it here so hit on save the account has been successfully modified blah 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 just hit okay done this or it we just reset the password to united arab 21 okay so let's restart the computer and sign in with that password so i'll just exit from here let me just restart okay so our machine is now on let's enter our password so united arab 21 boom we are in so once we are in you can do whatever you want to do if it's a document that you want to copy whatever you want to do you can just do it inside this machine you can create folders whatever you want to do just do it after that let's say we are finished doing whatever we came here to do so you just turn off the machine we don't want anyone to be suspicious you don't want anyone to know that someone has get into this machine so you have to go back to the normal state to the old password that was on so we have to go and go back our passkey file okay so we boot from the same cd again all right so once we get to our friendly interface again we select the same sum but here we don't want to reset or change the user's password we want to go back so select the last one that says restore previous modified password or data we select that one go to next okay so here we select the rollback file that we created so we navigate to where the file is Users public okay so this is the file go back dot pub so you select that file selected this is the date that we create the rollback file so we go to next just hit on restore i finish whatever i want to do just want to restore it to the normal state so that when the user come can use his password to log in as normal so we just restore the data has been restored successfully okay so let's restart and see if the old password will work so let me exit from here restart the machine okay so let's try our old password united Arab 21 password is wrong let's try it like me united Arab 21 wrong password so now when the user come he or she can use his or her normal password to log in you will not see anything so that's it that's how you can bypass windows password or get into a machine without a person noticing thanks for watching subscribe to my youtube channel to know more about this kind of videos thank you bye bye